What's up everybody, welcome to Video Tech. So as you can see, it's time for another keyboard review. But first off, I just want to thank Asus of Africa for lending me the keyboard to do this review. You guys are awesome, thank you so much. And if you want to get your hands on the keyboard, you can go check out Rebel Tech's website. I'll leave a link in the description for you so you can go buy it from them. But anyway, let's start with the review. Starting off, let's take a look what you get inside the box. Asus really outdid themselves with the packaging on this one. Both the keyboard and numpad comes in a very neat pouch that will be perfect for traveling. The cable is neatly packed as well in a ziplock bag. And then lastly you get an envelope with two RGB logo stickers, a message from Asus and then a manual. At first glance I can already see that this is going to be an awesome keyboard to review. But let's quickly go over the design and some of the function keys because there's a ton of them. The frame of the claymore is made out of aluminium which makes it super lightweight but very strong. Also the frame has Mayan inspired graphics on which looks really cool. And something I also like is the ROG logo at the bottom of the keyboard. The logo does light up completely and it just shines nice and bright. But now let's take a look at the secondary functions which you can activate by pressing the FN key with the selected key. So let's start at the top with the F keys. F1, 2, F4 is your repeat functions with 1, 2, 4 and 8 times repeating. F5 to F8 is your media controls with play, pause, stop, previous and next. F9 doesn't really do anything. But F10 to F12 is your volume controls, with mute and unmute, volume up and volume down. As you can see, F11 and F12 even has a third function that lets you overclock your CPU and RAM with one button. All you have to do is press and hold the specific key for 2 seconds. But these aren't the only keys that let you control the hardware of your PC. The delete key lets you access the BIOS, whereas the enter key lets you power up your PC. The minus and equals keys let you control your fan speeds and by pressing C, L and R together you are able to clear your CMOS. So these are just some of the very handy features that you get with the Claymore. But you do have to have a ROG motherboard to use any of these keys. And unfortunately I do not so I can't really show you any more of this. But there are still more function keys left. See I did tell you there's a ton of them. You are able to disable the Windows key by pressing the FN key with the Windows key. Number 1 to 5 lets you switch between the 5 different profiles which you can go set in the software. And F6 is to change it back to default. You are also able to record macros on the fly so you don't have to minimize your game while playing. To do this all you have to do is press the FN key plus ALT key to start the recording. Then you can select the keys you want to assign and then press the FN key and the ALT key again. Then you just have to press the key you would like the command to be signed to and there you have it. Pretty basic and easy. Then the last function key is the ROG Sync that is assigned under the print screen key. ROG Sync is yet another awesome feature of Asus. It lets you sync all the RGB lighting over all your Aura Sync enabled devices. So you are able to sync your lighting effects from your case, LED strips, memory, motherboard, graphics card, keyboard and mouse all together to create an awesome in-sync gaming setup. But if you want to know more about your Aura Sync, I'll leave a link in the description that you can go and check out. Now getting to the switches. The claimer comes out in a few different key switches. You can choose either between Cherimix red, blue, brown or black switches. The one I have here has the Cherimix red switches. The red switches has an extremely fast and linear response. The actuation distance is only 2 mm and has an actuation force of only 45 kg. But like I said the claymore comes out in a few different switches so yours may be different. Unfortunately you do not get a keycap puller but you are able to remove the keycaps to show the switches and even get some custom ones if you want to spice up your keyboard even more. The Claymore features 100% anti-ghosting with N-key rollover technology to ensure each keystroke is detected no matter how many other keys you pressed. Okay. 
Taking a look underneath the claymore, where you get three large anti-slip pads at the bottom and two flip-out keyboard feet with anti-slip pads as well. Even the numpad has its own flip-out foot and a rubber anti-slip pad at the bottom. You also get some cable routing grooves to neatly hide your cable and let them either come out on the left, or the right or the center of the keyboard. I must say I'm really liking the style Asus went with with underneath the keyboard. Most keyboards only have a flat design and that's fine because you don't really look underneath the keyboard that much but the 3D style they went with just gives the keyboard a bit more character. Another great feature of the Claymore is its cable. You're able to detach the 1.85 meter or 6 foot nylon braided micro USB cable but what's really nice is the USB port. The cable slides into the USB port and stays there. You don't have to worry about the cable accidentally disconnecting when moving the keyboard. The USB cable has small grooves which just slides in and it keeps the cable nice and secure. Now let's look at the main feature that makes the Claymore so unique. The detachable numpad. Asus made the Claymore so that you are able to detach the numpad and reattach it on either side of the main keyboard. All you have to do is remove the rubber protective pads on the side you want to use and then just slide the numpad down. The awesome thing about moving the numpad to the left side of your keyboard is that you can have your arms closer together which is more ergonomic. But also you are able to program every single key on the entire keyboard. So you can convert the standard numpad into a 17 key custom macro pad which is so awesome. But it doesn't end there. At the top you have a metal volume scroll wheel that lets you adjust the volume up or down. Also by pressing down on the volume wheel you are able to mute or unmute the audio. Now we get into the most important part of the entire review. And that is the RGB of course. <laughs> but joking aside the Claymore does have some impressive RGB lighting. It has over 16 million colors per key, 8 presets of effects and then you can even create your own custom ones as well. But let's quickly look at the 8 presets. First off we have the standard static color that will keep the backlight on a single color. After that you get the breathing effect, this will breathe in and out of the color you selected. Next you have the cycle effect that will cycle between the 16 million colors. Then you get the wave effect that has two options, color and rainbow. Color will only take a single color and create a wave-like effect that will move from one side of the keyboard to the other. But the rainbow option will instead take every color and create a wave that will move over the entire keyboard. After that we have the ripple effect and again this one has two options, color and random. Ripple works by pressing one of the keys and the key you press will send out a ripple that will move over the entire keyboard. The color option will ripple out a single color, whereas the random will ripple out a random color. If you are typing, it can get a bit chaotic, but at least will look cool. Then we get the reactive effect. This again has two options. By pressing one of the keys, that key will light up and fade after about two seconds. The two options again is color and random. Color is just a custom color you select, and the random is just a random color the keyboard chooses. The second last effect is the starry night effect, which again has two options. This effect will light up random keys on the keyboard and then fade after about 2 seconds. Like the previous effects, you get color and random. Color is a custom color you select again and the random is a random color the keyboard chooses. The last preset effect is quicksand. This is an effect I have not really seen before but it looks cool nonetheless. Quicksand will start at the top middle of the keyboard and send a wave downwards and will start again after about 2 seconds when all the lights faded. Again you get the two options, color and random. Color again is just a single color for the entire keyboard but random gives every row a different color which does look pretty interesting. Now we get to the cool part, the custom effects. Okay, so let's quickly go over the custom effects. I'm gonna do this manually just to show you guys all the cool features. Okay, so all you do is go to custom effect, click here. And then at the top here, you have all your custom uh, already group keys. So the all, so you'll see it lights up here. W, A, S, D, QWER, arrow, F in keys, all that. You can also select it on the keyboard here itself. You want to select a specific key. Um, so let's take the W, A, S, D keys. Give that effect, let's, uh, let's, no, let's take a static effect, 
okay, WISD keys and let's make that green. So you'll see then the WISD key slides up. Next up, let's take a breathing effect for uh, the, let's take all these. Then we can give them breathing effect of, let's say, fast and pink. There you go, so you can see here it's gonna breathe in and out. Uh, next up, let's give it a uh, do, 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 do. take another static effect for all the numbers. Let's make that that. I'll see that lights up again. Okay, then let's just take um, the entire numpad. Oh, wait a minute, let's just make a new and let's take a quicksand. So you'll see quicksand has a lot of effects, a lot of color effects. So we'll just select all the keys here. And then these are the levels of each row. So let's take the first color should be red. Let's give it that. Then yellow, then green, then bluish aqua, blue, and then pink. So you'll see that it's gonna light up with that if we there you go so you can see on the numpad it's gonna ripple through that and then lastly let's just take a wave effect and then select all the rest so let's take a color pattern of uh, only that and give it a fast effect and let's make it uh, from top to bottom so you'll see it's gonna affect like that as well. So that's just some of the effects. There's still like Starry Night and Ripple and everything. So you can play around with that. There's a lot of functions on the keyboard for the backlighting. So especially with the custom. So just go play around and then just create your own custom amazing backing backlight effect. So yeah. Now, unfortunately, you can't adjust any of the preset speeds. So what you'll have to do is create a custom effect and select the effect you want to speed up. And then you just change the speed of the custom effect. So it's pretty easy, but it would have been nice to have that option. But you are also able to change the backlight color and presets on the Claymore itself. To switch between the effects, all you have to do is press the F in key with the left or right arrow keys. You're able to adjust the brightness levels as well by pressing the FN key with either the up or down arrow keys. Then lastly, you're able to adjust the red, green and blue levels for all the effects except the color cycle effect with 10 levels for each color. You can do this by pressing the FN key with either the delete key that controls red, the N key that controls green and the page down key that controls blue. So you are able to customize the backlight to your precise color without having to open up the software. Okay, so let's quickly take a look at the Armory software, which you can go download from Asus's website. So first off, we have the keyboard here. You have the five different profiles here on the side and then the default. So you can still access these by using the secondary function on the num numbers one to five and six for default. So for if you want to customize any of the keys, all you have to do is click on a key and then you're at the side, you have the specific keys you want to assign to. So let's say you want space to be a window shortcut. You can just click on that and then copy, paste, close apps, anything like that. Uh, let's say if nine, which is disabled, let's put that on for a keyboard function. And let's say it should be sp space something like that or even let's say it should be multimedia and let's take it as a play or pause so you can program any of these keys to do whatever you want with same with the numpad you can do anything with any of these keys so you can create a nice and macro um, numpad for you to game on and just assign any keys to that here at the bottom you have your gaming mode so if you're in gaming mode you can disable the alt and tab so it won't minimize any of your games alt f4 windows key and even your fan controls so you can just just able disable that again then more here you have your lighting effects we which we did go over and then moving on we have the macro keys so here you can uh, record a macro you want to save so let's record let's say control v 
so let's just copy okay stop first okay so start recording Control v and then say stop and then you have a super long one <laughs> so let's just delete that one try it again Control v Control v there we go stop and then you can just to see you can save it here if you want to you can rename it as well at all so you can do that and then you can go back to the shortcut uh, to the keyboard and actually assign that uh, macro to that key so there we go uh, next up we have the sync so this is for your uh, aura sync so if you have a motherboard or a graphics card and let's say the sparse of mouse sparse of mouse you can assign the the sync to all of that so it will be all in unisync so you will have a cool effect and then you have your stats as well so here you can record if you want to play a game you can record and then it's got to pick up all the keys you press so let's say so as you can see it's going up so and then after the game you can see say stop you can see the keys per minute and then you can see what keys you use the most if you really wanted to and then all you all else and then you have the settings which you can update the software update the firmware launch our armory on startup check for firmware updates if your language and your links to asus website and then their facebook page so that's all you have else is here on the sides the claimer and you'll if you are, have the spot the mouse will probably be there as well so you can just go there and yeah use the software as you like okay so that's my review of the asus claymore keyboard i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please like share subscribe and comment also sorry for this video being so long there was just a lot of information i wanted to add about this keyboard so usually my videos are about like six to eight minutes something like that this one is almost i think 20 which is crazy so if you did watch through the entire thing thank you so much um also i wanted to know what you guys think about the plants in the background i just want to get some feedback if it's a bit annoying or whatever i personally like it it just adds a bit more and then like i said if you do want to buy the keyboard you can go check out rebel tech's website link will be in the description you can check out all they have a lot of other stuff as well so please go visit them show some support and also thank you again for asus south africa for lending me this keyboard it's so awesome to get the chance to work with you guys um really hope we work a lot more in the future so yeah thank you guys but then i just want to thank all you guys for watching my videos again uh without you guys i wouldn't really be doing this or anything so thank you so much for watching the videos and supporting me through everything so thank you <laughs> um also please go check out my instagram and facebook page uh link in the description i don't know why i always do this it's never there it's in the description um and then yeah thanks for watching guys if you do have any suggestions for different videos please let me know down below and i keep looking at that i shouldn't look at the viewfinder I should look looking at you guys <laughs> so but yeah thanks for watching guys and i'll check you guys next time cheers guys